Hi y'all, Dragon Latte here. So this topic was highly, highly requested for some reason and has been since my very first gold video on this channel. So here it is, a look at the freehold farm for raw gold. You'd better shuffle your poop deck cause you're about to get served. In gold that is. But first, let's give a warm welcome to my newest patrons. BFMV Metal A7X, Caitlin Moffat, Craig Smith, David J, James Arlington Hain, Anatheldra, and Elliot Allman. Thank you so much for your support and welcome to the Kraken Crew. All right, let's get into it. So let's get something straight real quick. I don't do competitive content in WoW anymore. As some of you may know, I retired from things like current expansion rating, Mythic Plus, and PvP as they were just causing too much stress on my health. Why do I bring that up? That means I won't have the high-end gear to do the harder farms. Like in this case, Freehold. I did do it though, I just did it my way, with some alterations. So with that in mind, take my results for what you will while we move along. So let's look at what you need. First, you'll want to do this on your tailor. Your tailoring skill also needs to be maxed and you need to do the tools of the trade quest line, which will show up when your skill is maxed and that you're gonna need to craft the synchronous thread. With that done and the synchronous thread in your bags, cloth will drop way more for you. So you'll really wanna do this part. On top of that, you'll want to grab a couple thousand or more nylon thread, depending on how much you want to do this farm. Unlike the skinning craftables, tailoring requires some items from the vendor, the nylon thread in this case. To be clear, I did not count this cost in the end results as it's both fairly minor and I already had a bunch from leveling my tailoring. Then you'll also want to make sure this same tune is geared, probably in the 460 plus range, as well as having strong essences and corruptions to both make this easier on yourself and let you clear it in a reasonable time. As you can see here, my tailor is a little 412. Yeah. So how did I do this? I recruited Silverfire T, my close friend and co-host, to carry me. I'm despicable, I know, but you can thank her for making this video possible. So you got your tailoring done and you're geared, you're ready to do this. Make sure to set it to normal as that's what we'll be doing this on and head inside. Now the easiest way to explain this is you are killing all the trash in this dungeon, but not the bosses. You'll want all the yellow mobs too. Almost everything here are humanoids, so they drop lots of greens and cloth. Remember I told you to have the synchronous thread? That's because it increases the cloth drops by an intense amount, like big difference. Now silver here is not a tailor, but I'm told that my thread can boost my party members drops too. I have no confirmation on this, but her total tide spray linen at the end is very close to mine, so keep that in mind. So I know you'll ask about my clear times. It took us 12 minutes to clear this each run. Laugh all you like, but this was rough as neither of us raid. She was at least 450 though, so with me as a healer, we managed it. If you like a challenge during gold farm, this one is for you. Because of that though, I won't give you a gold per hour result, but rather a look at what 10 runs will offer, since that is the hourly lockout rate, and I'll just assume you're awesome and can do this better than me in under an hour. I'm sure there are plenty of ways to min-max this, so feel free to share your elite tips in the comments below. All right, so let's take a look at my results. To preface, I do not know what having a friend with you will do to your loot drops from mobs, but I simply could not do this alone, so take my results for what you will. So total gold from gray items with 6,500 gold. 3,200 for me, 3,300 from her. I had a lot of greens as you're seeing here, like a lot, a lot, more than I could hold. Honestly, the grays and greens are the best part of this farm and make up the bulk of the gold. The greens put our total up to 11.6 thousand after vendoring all of them. And now the cloth. The total between her and I was about 2,300, an impressive amount. So we'll be crafting all this into the Tide Spray Linen Robes. Now I've been told you're supposed to craft the bracers because they cost less to craft, but they also give a significantly less amount of gold. I did some math shown on screen, 
and found that even if I had to buy the extra nylon thread that the robes take, I still got just a bit more gold with the amount of cloth that I had. I imagine folks craft the bracers due to the cost of nylon thread, so I'll leave that choice up to you. My results, though, here are with the robes. Plus, I feel like the tide spring linen robes might proc less than the bracers. I don't know if that would make up for the difference, though, as when I've crafted bracers in the past, they didn't proc much either. So, I could just be unlucky. So, take it for what you will. So, after all those were vendored, I got a grand total of 17.4k gold. Woo! Considering it took us two and a half hours to do this, it is way not worth it for us. And you are actually seeing 16.4k gold on screen, but that's because I had about a thousand in repairs. So ignoring my repairs, 17.4. But if you are able to do this in the bare minimum of six minutes per run, this could be totally worth it for you. I've been told plenty of times of, from plenty of geared people that they've had great success. So give it a shot. And as a reminder, these results are based on doing this with a friend. She gave me everything she had, gold included, but I've been told from other guides that, and various comments to expect anywhere from 10 to 20,000 gold in this farm, which is an awfully wide gap, so I'm not sure why that is. Either way, I hope this was helpful for you in some fashion. I'm sorry I can't do this solo to give you those results, but hey, it can be done with a friend, so that's cool, right? Perhaps try this farm with your friends and share your results in the comments. I'd like to see if there is indeed a difference between one, two, or maybe even a full five group. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte. And that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and poke that bell for more Coffee Field content. Leave a comment down below if you liked it, and remember, it's never too latte.